Frederick Scott Archer invented the wet plate collodion process in around 1850. Um, he wrote the book on the subject in 1851. He uh, figured out uh, that if he added bromide salts to um, collodion, he was able to get a photosensitive plate onto, uh, onto glass or onto tin. I never owned a camera. I mean, obviously I had an, a phone and that had a, a camera on it, so I, I mean, um, but as far as me going out to a store and buying a camera and saying I'm going to take pictures, um, my first photograph that I ever took intently in any kind of artistic sense was uh, my wet plate camera. So. He kind of didn't tell me he was going to do it, he just kind of did it. He's like, oh, you got to come and see what I got today. And he, you know, he had this new camera with all this new lighting and um, he said, you know, I'm going to try this process out. So he started with just a camera and two pieces of lighting until he got an image and then he just slowly kept adding things kind of like a, a woman hoarding their purses. You don't really tell your husband that you're buying the purse. You just go and buy the purse and you're like, oh, this old thing, I've had this forever. As an amateur typist, I cut a piece of glass and down the into my camera. I would uh, clean that glass very well. I'd get my composition with my camera. Um, I, um, once I got that composition, whatever I'm taking a picture of, I would go into the, uh, the darkroom setting. I'd pour collodion onto the, the glass plate. It's called the four corner technique. I then would immerse the uh, plate in silver nitrate for three minutes. Uh, during that uh, sensitizing step, I then finalize my composition. I'd come in, take the plate out of the silver, load it into the plate holder, load it into the camera, do my exposure. I then take the plate back into the darkroom under safe light settings and I pour developer on that plate, I rinse the plate, then the plate goes into a bath of fixer. The fixer uh, does what it's supposed to do, it fixes the, uh, the image permanently. The plate is then rinsed and then um, it goes on to the, uh, the drying rack to dry. I will take some varnish and pour it over the plate and then the, the plate is completely archival. What's really interesting about wet plating as well is the permanence of this process. So uh, these images will be here for hundreds and hundreds of years, which you can't say about any other photographic process. So that is, um, that's amazing.